Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you on a little journey with me. We're going to go and see if we can find the new fragrance from Creed, Aventus Absolute. I have no idea if it's going to be there yet. Apparently the release date's not till the beginning of November, but then other people say it could be released already. So we're just going to go find out and then if I can find it, I'll do a comparison between the original Aventus and this new Absolute version. I'm also hoping to smell Carmina, the other Creed fragrance, and just see what I can see at Blue Water Shopping Centre for perfumed new stuff if I can. But that is the aim of the game, is the Aventus Absolute. Failing that, we will just smell some new shit. <laughs> My fragrance today, I have kept it really light. So I have only two sprays on the back of my neck of Shalimar Millicim Iris. And that was on purpose because I don't want too much fragrance interfering with me going and smelling new stuff. My arms are very clean so I can spray perfume onto my skin which is so much more important than spraying it on a card. You really do get a completely different experience in, on, on, so often when you spray it on your skin versus paper. So yeah, let's uh, go and get in the car and get ourselves to Blue Water. Okay, so here we are in a Blue Water car park, just about to go in. I'm not gonna take this good camera in with me because I'm gonna feel a bit conspicuous. I'm just gonna go in now with my phone and see what I can get. I just tried the new ginger biscuit fragrance from Jo Malone, I've got that here. And it is very nice. It's very lightly um, biscuity and much more spicy. But it's not like a really heavy mixed spice. It definitely smells like a light, almost powdery spice to ginger. Maybe even a little hint of orange. I don't know what the notes are, but it's actually very nice. Quite like that. So John Lewis, I've managed to smell the new Aventus Absolute. It's not available at the moment, but she had a tester. She wouldn't let me film it. She uh, wasn't sure if she was allowed. So unfortunately I've got no, no footage of the new Aventus, but I have uh, it on my left wrist and I have the original on my right, I think. I'll have to check. <laughs> and then I also tried the new Carmina and I have that up here and actually I'm surprised how nice it is so it's a light cherry kind of scent at the moment it smells like a cherry blossom it's quite pretty but definitely has some depth so I'm actually impressed and surprised at that one but I'm gonna stop filming here because it is embarrassing and I will come back to the two eventuses later there's my cat in the back I forgot to tell you, so I'm quickly shoving this video on the end of this, that I got to see the new Penhaligons. I think they're called the Apothecary line or something like that. And I only sniffed the lids of all of them because I didn't want to overdo it. And I was expecting quite a lot of those annoying aroma chemicals that bother me. And just from sniffing the lid, I didn't get that from any of them. They all smelled quite nice. I can't tell you which is which. The one with the red writing was probably my favourite. But I need to really go back and sniff them all. What would be good is would be to have some samples and be able to test them all properly and, and do a decent review. But it's very difficult when there's a whole new line introduced and you've only got so much time and so much skin. But based on the way they smelt through the, just through the caps, they actually all smell pretty good. So I thought I would just pop that in there.
hello so I'm back sorry about the strange lighting but we are in the car still in the car park and I wanted to give you an update on the two Aventuses so the OG Aventus is here it is exactly as I remember it it is that slightly smoky yet fresh citrus slash pineapple musky scent with a little bit of woodsiness. I wonder if there's ISOE Super in here. A little, a little bit, I wonder, because I, I feel like I'm picking up on that as well. So that's the original Aventus. Aventus Absolute. Now, I do remember this has spices listed. And I didn't really pick up on them at first. But now we're about an hour into the wear. I do. I get a mild powdery spiciness. Also more of a woody feel. The initial opening was kind of similar but it was darker and woodier and a little bit smokier straight away and then as I was wearing it I noticed quite a dark woody element to it which I didn't really enjoy. It reminded me of the clone of Aventus, Club de Nuit Intense Man used to get hyped so much as being a really good Aventus clone and I always hated the opening of that. The first half an hour was just this horrible dark woody note. I couldn't tell you what it was but I really found it unpleasant and I feel like there's a little bit of that in this Absolute version. It's kind of gone now and I've still got an Aventus like smell. I smell citrus and pineapple, but it's darker, smokier and woodier than the OG Aventus. And there's that added spice, but the spice is not as I expected. I thought the spice would be more intense, but actually the spice is only very gentle. I don't think many people would say, oh, that smells spicy. I really don't think many people would. You only kind of pick up on it when, you know, you notice it, but it really doesn't feel that spicy. It's very light spice. And again, I feel like I get a little bit of an ISOE super in here as well. So that clean, musky, cedar-like scent, that is ISOE. Could be wrong often am but that's how I feel I feel like I get that from both of these I don't think absolute is going to take the world by storm it's quite similar to the original but just a darker smokier woodier version I what I am pleased to say though is I'd read some reviews that were comparing it to versions of Sauvage, maybe the Sauvage Elixir. Now, all the Sauvages from the I've smelled have all been very, they've all very Ambroxan heavy. And I don't get that from this. There's probably some in here, but it's not heavy. It's like a slightly sweet spiciness. Yeah, I mean, now it's more of a woody, slightly sweet spice. And the Aventus DNA, that pineapple and citrus freshness, is really, really dialed down in here now. Whereas the original Aventus still smells, still has that freshness of those citrusy and pineapple elements but with a very smooth woods, light woods, clean woods. This is, the absolute is dark, a bit more smoky and then spicy as well. Uh, what do I think? I think it's all right. Would I pay the RIP, RIP, <laughs> rest in peace, Aventus Absolute. You've not even been born yet. Would I pay the RRP? Of course not, but I wouldn't buy Aventus either. And, and that's not just because I'm a woman. I just, uh, I just think that there's much more beautiful and interesting fragrances out there for men than Aventus. But I think Aventus has its place. It has a very distinctive smell, although of course everyone's 
bloody cloned it so many times because of its popularity but I do think Aventus is, is a very good smelling fragrance and that's why it's been so popular but uh, for me I wouldn't buy it if I had a boyfriend I wouldn't buy it for my boyfriend even if he really loved it I'd probably try and convince him to, I'd help him find something better <laughs> but I don't have that problem to worry about so there you go Overall, I think it's very pleasant. I'm pleased to say it doesn't smell of all those aroma chemicals that everyone's pumping into niche fragrances these days. It definitely does have some synthetic, synthetic elements to it, like a bit of ISOE or, or something like that. But it doesn't have really harsh, sharp, dry aroma chemicals. But I didn't really enjoy a period of it where it was quite dark and smoky. So yeah, it, it, in my opinion, it's not worth the price tag, but of course if you fall in love with it, if it's totally up your street, then it might be. But for me, yeah, that, it was interesting to test them side by side. So I've just got in, greeted by this little monster. She wants more food, but it's not dinner time yet. It's not dinner time yet. It's not. Okay, so I am home now and I'm just gonna return to the two Aventuses just in case there's anything else to add. I did actually want to add that the Absolute had a lot more oil content sprayed on my hand so it was shinier and it was shinier for longer than the original Aventus so that tells me it's higher in concentration of oil I'm pretty sure it probably is but you would think that anyway with it being an absolute so yeah the OG Aventus it's so funny because I never use and I don't remember ever thinking oh it has ISOE super but it really feels like that now I do think this is more mass appealing. I don't think Absolute is going to knock Aventus off its throne because it has that. It's amazing how Aventus keeps hold of that citrusy pineapple, albeit in a more reduced way, of course, than the opening. But it's amazing how that hangs on and clings on with that musky, woody dry down. I just think it's a very appealing fragrance, whereas the Absolute. Now, I don't find much in common at all with the original. So now we're probably a couple of hours in. And it's, it smells like a powdery, slightly spicy, sweet, maybe resin type, wet resin woods type fragrance. So more of a dark fragrance, more of a nighttime or a a colder weather kind of fragrance. It doesn't really have that freshness anymore. I don't smell any of the citrus or the pineapple in the Absolute anymore. It smells peppery, it smells like a, a little bit of a mixed spice. It's powdery, it's ever so slightly sweet and woody. Doesn't feel like it's particularly strong, like it's not beasting off my hand. Let's see when I can smell it. <laughs> About here, I can pick it up. Now, of course, the back of my hand is not the ideal place for projecting fragrance. If it was in the crook of my elbow, it would be projecting more, but I would say it's not a particularly strong projecting fragrance based on that. Probably you're gonna get a decent sillage. So when you move around, you will catch whiffs of it if you get it on your clothes especially but don't expect it to beast mode off your skin i actually feel like the original aventus is probably a bit more projecting than the absolute version i quite like the subtlety of it though actually i don't think i'd like it if this fragrance was really strong and beasting out it would be a bit obtrusive because it's a darker it has a darker and more str 
stronger feel about it because it's not the light and airiness of the original Aventus. It's, it's not that citrusiness. It's much more of a darker fragrance. That would actually be quite annoying if it was really strong. There is a little element in the Absolute of some of like a typical shower gel, that kind of you know blue smell. I feel like there's a little bit of that in there. It smells like woody, patchouli, spicy, powdery. With just an element of the freshness of a Radox shower gel, maybe even a green shower gel. You know what I mean? Maybe herb, a little bit herbal fresh, aquatic fresh, but only just a little bit in there. Like you wouldn't really pick it out. But it just gives it that element of you smell clean, but you also smell like you're wearing a manly fragrance. Whereas Aventus is, the original Aventus is more along the lines of the citrusy pineapple freshness. So yeah, I think I'm done comparing them now. <laughs> I'm bored of you. <laughs> I did spray Carmina and I sprayed that up here. So that's the one that's in the purpley pink bottle that is marketed towards ladies and Carmina is definitely a, a surprise because the fragrance that they released for ladies prior to Carmina I've forgotten what it's called but I hated it and I felt like it was really chock full of a, a really annoying aroma chemicals I just couldn't bear it and I thought well if that's the direction they're going in I'm, I'm not expecting much at all from Carmina and I have to say it's actually really quite nice the best way I can describe it is like Guerlain's French Kiss or Frederick Mao's Lipstick Rose but imagine that it was tweaked just a little bit to appeal to the Middle East so there is a saffron note in here I don't really get it but I wonder if that's what's making it feel a little bit more Middle Eastern. It also has just a, a slightly smoky vibe, but mostly I think I get like a, a rose, rose, cherry, musky, maybe a tiny bit of a, a sweetness like a vanilla, but only just a little bit. It is sweet, but I don't know if it's vanilla that's sweetening it could be and then a little bit of a clean woodsy feel as well um but just this slightly smoky middle eastern vibe as well but only subtly only a little bit so it's really really pleasant i would happily wear that it's really nice i have french kiss actually i don't i'm lying i have a decant of french kiss that the lovely lizzie from rose and jones sent me i took that on holiday with me wore it loads love it i do think i need to get a bottle of it but yeah i would prefer french kiss over carmina but still i do think it's a very nice i would call it a cherry fragrance um, there's probably a floral in here. I would have put the notes on the screen at some point, or maybe I'll do it now, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, Carm Carmina gets a thumbs up from me. It's quite nice. Um, I still wouldn't pay the retail for it, but I think it's a nice fragrance. And Aventus Absolute is like, nah, it's all right. So yeah, I prefer the original Aventus. And I'm just gonna show you what I bought while I was at Blue Water. So I had a return to do in H&M, so let me show you what I got instead. So, um, just a little fluffy jumper. Just that, I'm not gonna go and try it on. It's um, just so soft. So fluffy, it's so fluffy. <laughs> and it was the color, I love this mint color. It's so lovely, so. <laughs> so I got that, it's very cheap, I think it's like, 12 pound or something 15 pounds and i got some underwear <laughs> shall i show you i don't know if i've ever shown anyone my underwear on you i don't know if i've ever shown my underwear on youtube but <laughs> but i've had these knickers from h&m before and they're quite comfortable and they're not too like um what's the word frumpy so they're, they're thongs they're just a lace um but they're just very very comfortable so a pack of there was just I can't remember how much but oh it's the price is gone now 
but the, I, I like them so I've had them before so I've got some more and I've got two packs <laughs> and then a bra <laughs> let's show you my I'm gonna show you my bra now come this is this is getting a bit risque isn't it that's how big my boobies are they're tiny <laughs> but I like I've had this bra before so I got another one and then um, a lint roller yeah that's exciting isn't it so that was H&M and then there's a new shop it's a charity shop I was just thinking was it I was only thinking today or yesterday blue water needs a charity shop but I didn't think it would ever happen because blue water is more more high-end type shops not high high-end but it doesn't it's only recently had a Primark and I didn't expect Primark to ever go there because it's just a little bit more elevated than a typical high street would be so I wasn't ever expecting to see any kind of charity shop there but they've got something called a charity shop it's called a charity supermarket and it's basically a load of different charities all together and when you purchase something it will say on the label what charity you're supporting and I came across this, uh, it's a Paul Smith shirt and it's a men's shirt, gorgeous colour, it was a colour that got me, so it's like a, a bluey purple and then a pink stripe, it's a cotton shirt, it's just got a, a, a minimal Paul Smith logo there, quite light, quite a thin material. Now I wear men's shirts either as a shirt just tucked into jeans or whatever or sometimes open over the top of a little top underneath but I really have a thing for men's shirts especially from charity shops because you can get such amazing deals this wasn't mega mega cheap it was £15.50 but I just really liked it and of course you buy something from a charity shop you're helping out a charity as well so it's all good so yeah there we go so that's my vlog, I guess, for today, testing out Aventus Absolute versus Aventus. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You could even, if you want to, you could even support me on Ko-fi. And I'll put the link to that in the description box. Bye for now.